What's going on guys? Danny here from Metal Couch and today we're going to be looking at a re-release. This re-release is for Mastodon's album Remission which has gone through a remix and remaster process and re-released to you, the good people, the Mastodon fans. Now for those of you who have been with my channel for a while, you know my feelings about Mastodon. I'm not going to really go into uh, what I think about their later career but more talking about how good of an album Remission is. Um, I've already reviewed Remission before, so I'm going to try to stay away from actually reviewing the album again. Uh, this is more of a production-based review. Uh, this album was remixed and remastered by Matt Bayless, and some of the most notable things right off the bat are the bass. The bass in particular is a lot more audible, um, the drums uh, are a little bit more forward into the mix. Um, you can definitely hear um, different pieces of the drums that you couldn't hear before with the previous mix. And overall, they just really cleaned up the production for this album, which to me is both a good thing and a bad thing. I do like how clear this album sounds with this nice remix, but... At the same time, that kind of takes away from the charm of Remission. Remission was this really gritty sounding album that it just, it, at some, you know, to a commoner, they would just think that this is nothing but noise. I mean, the second that you were to play Crusher Destroyer for an ordinary person, they would immediately be, what is that noise? Please turn it off. I have no idea what's going on. But with this nice, clean remix, a little bit of that punch goes away. With that being said, some of the other parts of the album, such as the opening to Old Nessie, which is extremely clean and a very beautiful piece of music, those cleans with uh, those particular effects pedals sound fantastic in this remix. And in my opinion, the clean parts sound better. But when it comes to the awesome punch-in-your-face sound that was on the original master, for remission, it's lost a little bit of punch. And to top it all off, the one thing that I hate whenever an album gets remixed or remastered is the lack of bonus content. Yes, if you were to buy a physical copy of this album, you're going to get a little bit of unreleased art or something like that in a nice little case, digipack, whatever you want to call it. And then there's limited edition vinyl sets with t-shirts and all this other stuff, but that's not what I want. I want demos. I want live stuff. I want previously unreleased material. You don't get it with this particular release of Remission. Um, that, to me, is a huge blow whenever you re-release an album. Uh, to me, if you're just going to throw a new remaster out there, what's the point of me going out and buying a physical copy of it if you're just going to just change the mix? I mean, I want... Give me something... Is, is something, you know, entice me to buy this album. Give me another reason besides a remix. Um, so that right there takes away largely from the grade for this re-release is the complete lack of bonus material. But with that being said, this particular re-release production-wise is sound. Some of you probably aren't going to like it. Some of you may even see it as a bit of a sterilization. I can understand that. But with this particular remaster, I enjoyed listening to it. And in fact, I'm probably going to really uh, replace it on my MP3 player with the older mix. Because, I, frankly, there are just some bits and pieces of this remaster I like better. Uh, what a, you know, and it's kind of weird, though, that they're just remastering remission and throwing it out there to us. Uh, all of it, it just kind of happened all of a sudden, out of nowhere. But... Nonetheless, I'm happy because the best Mastodon album got a remaster, so I can't really complain here. The only thing I can complain about is a lack of bonus content. The only thing I can say is, if you have this album already, you're probably not going to pick up this remaster. If you have not listened to this album before, sure, go ahead, pick up this remaster. I mean, why not? Um... If you have the original, it's probably not going to change your mind and make you want to spend another 12 to 15 bucks to pick this up. So I'll leave that to you. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about the new mix. So 
overall, this remaster to me, when it comes to bonus content, it utterly fails. But for the mix, relatively sound. Can't really give it a numerical grade because it's too divided without offending everybody. I mean, if we were to give it a bonus con, it rated on bonus content alone would be a zero out of ten. Um, so, I mean, that's not what I would say the album is. But anyway, that's beside the point. I'm rambling on. Yeah, Mastodon's Remission. It's a pretty good album. Danny here from Metal Couch, signing out.